Fellow South Africans, this evening I stand before you to ask you to endure even longer. I have to ask you to make even greater sacrifices so that our country may survive this crisis and so that tens of thousands of lives may be saved. After careful consideration of the available evidence, the National Coronavirus Command Council has decided to extend the nationwide lockdown by a further two weeks beyond the initial 21 days. This means that most of the existing lockdown measures will remain in force until the end of April. We will use the coming days to evaluate how we will embark on risk-adjusted measures that can enable a phased recovery of the economy, allowing the return to operation of certain sectors under strictly controlled conditions. We will also use this time to ramp up our public health interventions. We did not take this decision to extend the lockdown lightly. As your president, I am mindful of the great and heavy burden this will impose on you. I am keenly aware of the impact this will have also on our economy. But I know, as you do, that unless we take these difficult measures now, unless we hold this course for a little longer, the coronavirus pandemic will engulf and ultimately consume our country. We all want the economy to come back to life. We want our people to return to work. We want our children to go back to school. And we all want to be able to move around freely again. But our immediate priority must remain to slow down the spread of the virus and to prevent a massive loss of life. We must do this while preventing our economy from collapsing and saving our people from hunger. We are determined to pursue a path that both saves lives and protects livelihoods. Our strategy in confronting this moment that confronts our country is made up of three parts. Firstly, an intensified public health response to slow down and reduce infections. And secondly, a comprehensive package of economic support measures to assist businesses and individuals affected by the pandemic. And thirdly, a program of increased social support to protect poor and vulnerable households. As government, together with our many partners, we have used this lockdown period to both refine and intensify our public health strategy to manage the virus. Our approach is to screen in communities and test people in hospitals, clinics, and mobile clinics to isolate those who are infected and to care for those who are ill in our health facilities. We need to do this intensively and systematically. We have used the last week to develop our screening and testing methodology in various parts of the country. Over the next two weeks, we will roll out the community screening and testing program across all provinces, focusing in particular on highly vulnerable communities. Those who test positive and cannot self-isolate at home will be isolated at special facilities that have been identified and are now being equipped. At all times, we will observe the human rights of all our people. Let us not discriminate against those people who test positive. 
to ensure that our strategies are effectively coordinated and to ensure that they are informed by comprehensive, real-time data, we have established the COVID-19 Information Center at the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research, the CSIR. This world-class center will keep track of all screening, testing, isolation, and hospitalization of our people throughout the country. It is already identifying infection hotspots. It is following the spread and the severity of the disease and enabling us to move our focus and resources where they are most needed.